Hi there, I'm Teaspoon, and this is Taspoon, the series where I pioneer my own path progressing an old school RuneScape Iron Man account. The goal? To complete the collection log. The catch? I have to do it one randomly generated task at a time. Welcome to Taspoon. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Taspoon series. Uh, in the last episode, we got a champion scroll from Hill Giants, killed the big man, that was cool. Uh, and then we rolled a beginner clue task, which fortunately, I already have a bunch of caskets, and there's a chance that I get to finish right away. So let's go ahead and start opening and hope for some uniques. All right, pet the dog for good luck, and let's start opening. And we already got one right away, cool. Oh, and some bare feet, number two. Can we get a third? Hey, we did it. What a fun task. I love when tasks take me all of two minutes to complete because I already have everything banked. Let's get a new one. Uh, okay, Varrock easy. Nice, I can do that. But before I go and do that, uh, I'm almost out of U logs for birdhouse runs, and I need to edit the last video, so I'm gonna be sitting here chopping some trees while I edit, and then we'll go and do the diary once I'm done. All right, done with editing. Should have quite the stack of U logs, 810. That'll last me for a very long time. Uh, I need to go get a screenshot for a thumbnail, and then we can go back to doing the task. All right. Uh, here we are, made it to Varrock, just gonna start doing tasks. Most of them are pretty easy and quick. I have all the items, so shouldn't take me too long. I'll just show you a little montage of me doing stuff, and then, yeah, we'll be done. Alright, and that's it. Super easy, nothing to it really. Got a lamp for some herb lore. Nice, let's go get a new task. That one was nice and easy. Go ahead and complete that and let's get a new one. One piece of farmer's equipment. Is that Tithe Farm? I think that's Tithe Farm. Yeah, the farmer's outfit is from the Tithe Farm mini game. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go over what I do for that because I've already done it in a previous episode when I had to get the Gricolers can. So I think my plan is just go do Tithe Farm and I'm gonna think I'm gonna buy the straw hat. Uh, mostly just cause I think it looks the best. All right, here we are. Now, fortunately for me, I recently hit 54 farming, which is the exact level that I need for the second tier of seeds. So that's very convenient. Uh, as I mentioned before, I also already have the Gricolers can. So that's also very convenient. Uh, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad at all. Let's just go do it. All right, first batch of 100 going in. Uh, that should get me, yeah, 25 points each, and then you get some bonus points every once in a while. So I just need to do that two more times, and I'll have the 75 for the hat. Fruit dump number two. And with this 100 fruit, we have the 75 points needed to buy the hat. 57 farming, cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, here we are. Farmer's hat. Acquired. Sick. I can't wait to forget to wear that hat during all my farm runs. Awesome. Uh, let's generate a new task. Void Knight Mace. Okay, let's go do some pest control. The Void Knight Mace actually does have some cool stuff about it, such as being able to auto-cast the Claws of Guthic spell. Um, I actually have used that feature in the past when I was killing uh, Dagonoth Rex at some point, but in reality it's not that useful, and I would have rather be able to get one of the armor pieces, but hey, this is what we got first, so let's go and do it. 
Okay, here we are. Let's go blast some pest control. Oh, I was about to join a new game, but apparently I'm done already. I say already, but it's been like four hours. I don't know. I, I was doing this pretty lazily. I was doing something else while I was uh, doing the games. Where's the guy? There's the guy. Go ahead and buy this. Nice. All right. On the spreadsheet, complete that task, and let's generate a new one. Wild okay, Western Provinces. I don't know why I thought it said Wilderness. Western Provinces Easy Diary. Let's do it. Alright, all of this stuff is very easy, including my favorite task. Complete a novice game of pest control! So I'm gonna go do that first, and yeah, all this stuff looks pretty easy. Shouldn't, shouldn't take me too long at all. Alright, there we go. Uh, I had already done most, or not most, but like half of the tasks and the other half were really just go somewhere and click one thing. So, easy task. Put that on Herblore and let's go get a new one. Go ahead and complete that one and generate a new one. Get a mossy key. Let's go kill some moss giants. So, there are a lot of places that I could kill these moss giants, but if you take a look here, there are some in the Catacombs of Karend, and why not kill them there? There's no reason to kill them anywhere else, at least this way I have a chance at more Dark Totems and Ancient Shards, and they're the same drop rate for the Mossy Keys as anywhere else that isn't in the Wilderness. Now, as you can see here, uh, the Mossy Key drop rate is increased to 1 in 60 if it's in the Wilderness, instead of 1 in 150, but I don't really want to have to risk my hardcore killing Moss Giants. Uh, I already didn't like having to do it for the hard clues, so... Yeah, we're just going to go to the catacombs and kill them there. Okay, here we are at the Moss Giants. I don't really know what could happen that'd be interesting enough to show, other than actually getting the key. So, yeah, you'll probably just see me get the key, but hey, here we are. Oh, Radar Seed. That's cool. What? Another Ranar Seed? Damn, these guys are awesome! I had to look it up because I was curious, but apparently they're like 1 in 100-ish. Okay, 1 in 98.3. I don't know why it's so specific, but cool. Uh, I killed like 60 of them and got 2 drops, so I guess that was just really lucky. But those are going to be really useful, so that's good. Another Ranar Seed? What the heck? What is my luck? What? What is this? What? Uh, am I? Is my account blessed? What is going on? Oh, we did it! Nice. Uh, hundred and forty-four kills. Almost exactly on the drop rate. Sweet. Alright, here we go with another task. Uh, this will probably be the last one of the episode, depending on what it is. Next year, Metal Boots. I don't know what I'm up to. That might be Black Boots? Blood Velds? I don't know. I'll go look. <laughs> okay, I went to go check uh, what my next tier of Metal Boots was, and I saw 62 Mithril Boots from all the jellies that I killed. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Black Boots, Blood Velds, let's go kill them. Alright, well, much like everything else I've been killing recently, we're gonna kill the Blood Velds in the Catacombs of Karend. Uh, again, might as well go for the extra chance at the Dark Totem pieces and Ancient Shards, and they're higher level, so, I don't know, more fun to kill, better drops, etc. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just gonna kill them, I'll let you know when I get the drop. In the meantime, as this is the last task of the episode, this is where I do the obligatory YouTube thing where I say, if you like the episode, don't forget to subscribe. 
because I like when the subscriber number goes up. Oh, black boots. That was very quick. Uh, 18 kills, in fact. Nice. <laughs> this, this is still just too funny to me. <laughs> 62 boots. <laughs> All right, and let's complete that one and generate a new task for the next video. Piece of rogue equipment, okay.